Okay, everyone, before I start um, playing with watercolor, um, I do want to, you know, this is kind of like part of my journal that's wet on one side, and I'm just going to make a note that says um, color scheme. And oh my gosh, this marker is almost dead. Let me know if you guys have like experience with the markers that you want to tell me about and we can kind of figure it out. I'm going to blame my kids. Okay, so color scheme, graffiti. Okay. So I'm thinking about the letters. So I'm pretending that this is the letter, right? And then let's fade. So what you want to do is you want to practice like a wash, a graded wash graded, meaning you're kind of like playing, um, you know, with the markers and you're practicing different colors, right? So this is going to be the middle, the middle, I'm going to have more cool colors, the outside to create con contrast, I'm going to have more warm. And I'm just telling you, you know, do a practice page where you're just kind of reviewing and you're playing around, you know, with your paints. So we have our one brush. I wish you guys had more. C'est la vie. And um, here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to um, play with my blue. And I really like this purple. I know AJR's colors are blue, but I just feel like this like purple is so intense. Oops, I went into the wrong thing. So I'm going to get a lot of that purple. Move it over a lot. Okay, and I'm just gonna practice, and I'm feeling like, you know what, that might be a little too, that might be a little too purple, but I have a lot of paint on my brush. So when you have a lot of paint on your brush, you're gonna get a darker value. So now I know I wanna go more blue. So I'm gonna hang out more in the blue area, but I'm gonna kind of mix them in, right? I'm gonna just do a coat, right? And then I'm gonna practice now, adding more water and I'm just going to go ahead and do a fade or I'm going to fade up with my letters so it's going to go from dark to light right and I think that would be pretty cool okay I want to create unity though so I'm going to have a different color so maybe I'll do purple on the bottom purple blue purple on the bottom I'm feeling and then, you know, and you know, you, you're just kind of like making decisions. Maybe I'll do kind of like this turquoise green on the top, right? So maybe I'll go like really dark value. Maybe I'll do blue turquoise. So do blue turquoise right here. And see, so you got some bleeding happening, so that's okay. But I know my top, oh, see? So yeah, and you're kind of like figuring out, okay, well, what are some areas? Right, so what are some areas like, where am I gonna make mistakes? And you can't be afraid of making mistakes. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, what if I did like some wet on wet on the top? So I start with a dark value and then I do like a lot of water, right? And then maybe I do some dots of the blue. That might be cool. And then I also have those yellow, like the font has some orange dots, so I'm gonna leave those open. Not orange dots, but spots. I'm gonna leave those open. Maybe I can work on a complementary color. Okay, I feel good. I feel like I've practiced enough. You may wanna spend more time before you start. But remember, like a lot of paint, dark value. And I made some decisions. I'm, I'm digging the purple, so I'm gonna do blue purple. So I'm gonna stick with that color. I'm gonna have the same water for the bottom of all of my fonts, right? And I'm going to use sections. Like, I'm going to have more, like, letters later. But I'm going to kind of, like, paint in sections. So I give some areas some time to dry. All right, so I'm going to let me make sure I get closer so you can kind of see. And I'm going to do my best to kind of talk through it as I go. Okay, and one more time for good measure. I'm going to erase.
I'm going to clean it up. But you know what? I'm not going to obsess. I'm just going to paint. I feel like I'm procrastinating. Okay. So, uh, where's my blue? So I'm doing blue purple down at the bottom. Blue and purple. Okay. It's a secondary color. I'm going to mix a lot of that. I got a lot of paint on my brush, but I'm using water, right? Okay. So you can kind of see the consistency. Okay. And I'm going to keep just at it and I'm going to make a really hard boundary down at the bottom. Okay, so that's what I'm going to work on doing. Hard boundary, but I don't want it to dry. I'm going to come in. I'm going to have my water here so you can see where it is. Like, so you can see how much I'm dipping. I'm going to have my paper towel nearby. So I'm going to come in, and now I'm going to drag it up before it dries. Okay, dab, dab, dab. Drag up before it dries. So now I'm painting with mostly water. Okay, I'm cleaning my brush, painting with mostly water. Fade, fade. Cool. So you wanna pick your color, you gotta like figure out your colors, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna do this bottom part. Wait, clean that up a little. Let me clean that up. Make sure you solidify your boundaries. I'll go up. Okay. Sorry. Got to remember to show you everything. Purple, blue. Purple, blue. Okay. Blue, purple. Down at the bottom. Okay. Really dark line. Dark boundary. A lot of paint on my brush right now. Okay. Now I'm going in. Okay, and I'm gonna go wet. Okay, gonna stick pretty dry. Okay, I feel like that's like a heavier value than I want, so, and I think it's cause I'm gonna have my brush closer. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna really, oh, it's so nice when it's mostly water, right? When you have like, when you pull some of that paint up, oh, I got paint on the side, I'm not gonna trip, just. Pull it up, make sure you have paper towels. And look, I'm gonna pull that up a little. That's like a really nice fade. A little less purple, like, you know, it's getting kind of blue, right? Like goes from blue to purple, that's okay. Maybe I'll bring in some blue. Ooh, look at that fade. Might have some cool stuff happening. Okay, dab it, okay. I'm liking where that's going. Let me adjust the light so you can see. Ooh, okay. Going in, watercolor, loving it, loving it, loving my job. Okay, so doing the bottom again, doing the bottom. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh, really dark value, getting the dark edge in. Making it sharp. Sharp boundary up, oh, it's going a little too far. And all of this is easy because I like I did the pencil work. Okay, now I'm gonna fade up. You know, I gotta pick stuff up as it happens. Okay, now I'm gonna fade up, right? So I'm gonna a lot of water, a lot of water, a lot of water. Okay, and now I'm painting mostly with water. So mostly with water, doing the bottoms of the letters. Right. And I want there to be contrast between these letters. I want them to be able to tell that this is the A and the A is in the front. And I can clarify that relationship later with markers. Now I can like really put like a black thing, but it would be nice if this was at a lighter value, you know, and maybe there would be like, you know, a shadow here, like a drop shadow, right? So I can kind of let that bleed, assuming that shadow is coming from the A, right? And then I'm going to go up and pull it around. Okay, pull it around. Pull up, pull up. Okay, I'm gonna add some more value going back for my paint. Adding a little bit more value down here on the bottom. Pulling up, and I don't have to worry about contrast right there. Okay, fill that in. 
I'm liking that. I'm feeling that. So I'm going to keep going. Okay. And I'm trying to remember, okay, this letter. So you have to ask yourself, when do the letters begin and end? Okay. So I'm going to do a lot of value, a lot of value for the dark. And I was sitting, I just so, so you guys know, I was standing that whole time, but I'm actually going to sit now. Um, but I do recommend standing, but I think I'm going to sit just because I'm trying to film this. Okay, heavy, heavy, heavy. So dark, dark, dark value. So I'm getting a lot of dark value. Dark, 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 dark value. Okay, so a lot of paint down at the bottoms. Okay, really hard edge right there. and then going up and then pulling up more water I, I'm trying to keep my water in the shot so you guys can see you know move that right there darkening that edge maybe adding get some more paints and add little wet Whoa! that'll happen got a little too excited and that's okay and you know what you're not gonna get a bad grade if you do that look I did it again right because I thought it kind of looked cool I wasn't sure so I had a moment but I kind of I don't know I don't know how I feel about that but that I was thinking it should have a drop shadow like that like the J subconsciously I was thinking it should have so I'm going to leave that dot there you guys let me know if you like that okay I'm going to keep going so this is going to be more blue I'm feeling like more of a blue or purple Ooh, I'm getting some turquoise in I'm mixing my colors up I'm so messy with my colors. I don't know what's what. Okay. I'm gonna go right in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the bottom of the R. All right, moving. You guys are like, oh my God, this is so time consuming. You're right, it is. But you know, it is fun. Gotta remember that to think of art is kind of like a form of release. A lot of paint down at the bottom for this hard boundary of the one. Okay, don't wanna stick with my hard values too much. Got a lot going on with this one. I got like several layers. Okay, I'm gonna have too much value. So I'm going in with the water. I'm going to pull that up a little. Oops, I got a little dot down there. I'm not going to trip. Okay, I'm going to get more. Okay, now I'm painting with mostly water. So what you do is you stop, you clean your brush. Painting mostly with water. I'm going to go up. And, you know, I feel like I really want a hard edge. So I'm going in and a lot of paint for the edges of this. I feel like the edges of the one I want to be a dark value. But then it'll go ahead and it'll fade up. Oh, 
Okay, cool. Let's keep moving. Okay, same font down at the bottom. Fading up. Okay, now I'm going a lot of water. So again, if you want a lighter value, more water, less paint. Okay, if you feel like your um, number is getting a little too, like there's too much water on your page, you know, you just pull it up. Yeah, and make sure those edges are really clear. But then, like, don't stress about it too much because you're going to do marker later. So this is the bottom of the O. Now, like, my lines are really mucky down here, so I'm kind of, like, not sure what's what. So I'm going to go in. Okay. With a lot more values. Okay, here I got my two. Okay, and I am really gonna have a strong dark value. How do you get a dark value, right? Well, you have more paint on your brush. More water, lighter value. I love watercolor. Okay, so now, look, I'm painting with just, ooh, we got some bleeding happening, but that's kind of cool. Dab, 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 dab. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Painting with mostly water, going up to the edge of the bottom of my fade. Mm -hmm. AJR 2021. 2021. Okay, I got the 2020 that I want to leave behind over here. And I'm wondering if that should be kind of like in a different color. You know, 2020 should be in like the COVID kind of red colors. So I don't know, I might leave that. But I kind of want to create unity, so I'm not sure. But it's kind of like you got to make that design decision with color. Maybe I'll have it start to fade to red. So I don't know, this is kind of like a risk. I should really practice it in my journal first. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. But what if I did like a lot of red? Or what about this purpley color over here? All right, so notice I'm like mixing, 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 getting some of this red in, you know, and then I'll add some of the blue to kind of, and that blue is really powerful, more of the red bringing some of that red in. It's okay if you use your colors, they're supposed to be used. Okay, and a lot of paint on my brush right now. Ooh. Wow, look at this dark, dark color. This like purpley red, because this 2020 is what I'm leaving behind. All right, we're all leaving it behind. We're leaving behind the hate. We're leaving behind the disagreements. Mm -hmm. Okay, fade, more water. Literally, it's paint on the bottom and then more water on the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel like I don't have enough value difference, so I'm gonna come up, dab that a little, pulling it up a little, I feel like it's hard to see what I'm doing because of the angle of the light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
And I mean, I really should have done a colored draft. I'm not going to lie. Should have. I would have gotten more points on Seesaw. But c'est la vie. You know? And, um, and it's why I'm, I'm like making decisions right now on the fly. And I'm also being a little sloppy right here, but. Oh, I'm starting to get tired. But you got to know when to stop. kind of want to make this a little bit more purpley to create unity. And I'm kind of like mixing on the page. was not thinking there. I don't know what I want those dot. What color do I want those dots to be? I'm going to pull that up. Okay, pulling back. All right, some things have wandered around. Um, two, 20, 20. I don't know where the other two is. 2020. Is it like part of this J? Maybe I can kind of make the two kind of secret down here at the bottom. Mm. Might be a little too much. Maybe the two is in the back here. All right, and it's coming forward and it's behind this one girl coming back around. Okay, but going towards that focal point, maybe it goes down, that's the bottom of the two, and it swings around here. Really gotta make a decision so it's clear to my audience what's happening. How can I make this look more like a two? Graffiti doesn't need to look like. Yeah, it's like about creating unity too. Okay, so then I got that bottom fade happening. Maybe this is the bottom of the two happening right here. Oops, look at that. Look at that, look what just happened there. That's okay. I can fix that later with layers. Do not be afraid of making a mistake. The worst thing is not taking a step ahead. That is the worst thing. And I think that this was part of a state, like this is part of the United States. So I'm gonna leave that there, maybe do some dots, maybe a stripe there. I feel like 2020 has the coronavirus. It's got those red colors happening. Backwards, what a backwards year. Okay, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. So, but I feel like I'm gonna see that pencil work, but it's okay, I'll go over it with marker. So, I'm gonna go in, a lot of dark values. Okay, going back to the drawing board, remixing my paint, remixing it, okay. I've now been painting for like about 45 minutes total just to give the audience an idea out there with all the different videos. Bring it up, bring it up. Mm 
Dab, 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 up. Dab, 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 up. Darker value. And then I kind of like, we have the end of the two versus the end of the two. But yeah, there we go. And I wish I had had a little more water there, but that's fine. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm gonna do the top, like kind of like a, a turquoise uh, letters. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go from there. I am gonna pause the video. Um, you know what, I'm not gonna pause it. I'm gonna keep going because time is of the essence. So I set on the top, if I look at my plan, all right, I'm gonna do blue purple, I'm gonna do like blue turquoise at the top. So referring back to my plan. Right, so really, 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 I got a lot of purple in this water. I'll tell you about that. Right, and this red purple happening with the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with new water. So you can go to your sink. Always clean your water. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bring in a lot more turquoise for that top layer and mostly blue. So I'm going to make a less purple color as I fade up. Okay, so for the bottom, by this time, like this is dried. Like I can feel this. So I'm going to start from, you know, where I left off. And I am going to do dark value. And hopefully it's like more of a green color. So there's like a contrast there. But it still feels like the same letter. Okay, I feel like that's really heavy on my value. Right? I just kind of like spacing out. So I'm gonna pull up, right? And then I'm gonna add mostly water now. So now I'm painting more with water. I'm just doing like a wash, a graded wash up to the top. And at the very top is going to be just water, but I'm going to stay away from my spots. Okay. And I, you know, one thing I want you guys to keep in mind is some part of your letter, you should leave kind of white, right? So you get that cool fade. Okay. Again, I'm getting a lot of the value. Now I feel like my paper is starting to get tired. Look, you can see like, it's like, oh my God, you see little eraser pieces in there. And I really tore it up when I was changing things. So you gotta be aware of that too. You know, you, get, you don't wanna put a hole in your paper because you're adding so much water and you're erasing, but you know, you try your best. Now I'm going back in and I'm adding like some darker value down at the bottom, really giving this a strong shadow. Okay, painting mostly with water on the top. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, clean water, right? So you could see I'm painting with mostly clean water right here. And you know, I wouldn't put your water on your canvas, on your watercolor paper. I'm doing it because, well, I want you to be able to see how much I'm dipping the brush. Okay, going around the spots, hard boundary. Going up to the hard boundary. Okay, now I'm gonna pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, now I, I am unclear of where this A ends, but I'm gonna do my best. So you wanna do like a whole space all at once, right? So you can play with the the paint that's on the paper. I'm gonna dab up, dab up. See, the paper is, the, the, the paper is suffering right there. Look, those are little paper 
paper tears because I pulled, I really erased a lot. That's okay. Okay, now I'm bringing in darker values. So really adding those shadows. Now I'm going to do some wet on wet. So I'm going to add little spots. I feel like that's too much. Like I'm kind of like, ooh. I liked it cleaner. Like So it's like about figuring out what's simple and what you like. Let's pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay. I want a hard boundary at the end of this A. So I'm going to go back in and layer that in. Okay. Now, if you're feeling like, oh my God, it's, it's looking messy. Don't worry. Because guess what? You're cleaning it up with your markers. Like watercolor first and then markers next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Maybe I'm gonna make like more of a hard boundary at the end with the A. Maybe I'll add more of a shadow there. I'm gonna kind of leave that. Okay, because I feel like I'm over overplaying it. Clean up this boundary right here. I really shouldn't be mixing two colors, but I'm gonna fill that in. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and more paint, heavy paint, heavy paint, heavy paint, heavy paint, and go in. Okay, I feel like that's purple. Okay, I dipped it in the wrong one. I don't know. But I'm not going to worry about it, okay? I am just going to kind of let it flow. And that's a really dark value. Wow, I have a lot of paint on the brush right now. Just throwing that out there. So I'm going to have to even that out. I have such contrast. Like here, here, here. So I'm going to try to add the same contrast. I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. But while I got this dark value, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to emphasize this edge right here. So we know that that's the edge. I feel like, wow, that's dark. It's okay. Okay, and I'm going to play with this dark value. I'm going to try to move a little faster now because, you know, time is of the essence. So I'm going to go in here and I am going to do a couple of edges, but I got to work fast enough so... Like everything doesn't dry because I still want to do some fades. Okay. Going in there. Okay, I think I've done enough. Maybe I'll do that line right there. Okay, now going in, just painting with water. I'm actually, I have so much paint on the paper. I'm going to actually pull some of the paint off my brush. Okay, going to go in. Now it's like mostly water as I'm doing the fade. Mostly water, mostly water. Blend up, blend up, pull that paint up. And I'm feeling like I need to unify everything. So I'm kind of going back, making changes to other letters. Okay, mostly water. Oops, I just got a dot. Okay, look, see? The paint's drying over here. So I'm kind of, I'm doing risky business. I'm going to go, I'll zoom out so you can see how I'm interacting with my water. Getting little drops everywhere. Sloppy mess, go bad. It's okay. Art should be messy. Embrace the mess. Don't worry about everything being all perfect. Okay, I feel like I've been zoning out and I'm forgetting my original goals. So I wanted to do more of like a wet on wet up here. So I'm going to paint mostly with water. Now what's interesting is up here with this font, I have another color for like the AJR up here. Like there's like another like a line where I can do another color and another boundary. 
So that's going to be cool. So I have to make a choice with that. Like, am I going to stay cool or am I going to give it some contrast? I'm kind of feeling like I may want to give it some contrast to add a little bit of drama. And I am having a hard time not covering these spots. I'm just going to throw that out there. And don't trip about having the lines perfect. You just do what you can. So I'm going to add a bit of a shadow and going all the way up to the edge. Okay, then this goes up there. And this actually goes up. So you got to always up. Uh, now I'm going out of my boundary. Uh, okay, I'm going to smooth that out. Okay, I feel like I'm getting a little too dark. So I'm going to go back to... No, I'm going to stay dark. You know, and you, you may get in a trap where you're just using too much paint. Because you like the darkness. But remember, you can add the darkness with your markers later. So pull it up. You know, go in and pull some of that up. feels like AJR is crying. It's very dramatic to me. Right? You sometimes like you'll find the watercolor is very soothing. Watercolor, it's very much like human emotions. We feel things. Right? And we can't control our emotions and that's okay. I'm digging having like a zigzaggy thing happening. Wow. That looks cool. The dark up on the top and then the light in the middle. I'm liking this. Ooh, I'm liking those lines. Right, so I'm kind of like sensing a pattern developing. Right, and it's like if you're doing, if you make a bold choice, bring that bold choice back to the other letters. So I have kind of like a patterny, painty thing. Hmm, that's cool. Okay, I'm not going to overwork it. Okay. Blue turquoise up at the one, blue turquoise, blue turquoise up at the one up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, zigzaggy. Okay, this is a lot of paint. I feel like my brush is too full. So, you know, you could pull back. I'm being stubborn. I'm going to keep going. I really should dab my brush. My brush is too full. Because sometimes you got too small of an area. Okay, now I'm painting mostly with water. I'm going to create more of a wash, a fade. So it's like paint, and then you add paint. Pull up, pull up, pull up. And then it's like, well, what's happening there? What, what color? I think... I think I'm going to have like a, a, um, a contrast color, that, like an, a complementary color in the middle. Okay, a lot of paint, a lot of paint. Okay. I'm going to, I'm making a decision. I'm going to, on this letter... Go back to really dark colors up at the top. So dark value. And I'm going to have like orange or something, like a warm color kind of shooting through these letters. Kind of threatening to hurt the letters. I'm not really sure. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I got a lot of dark values on the end. Now I water, water, water. I'm just painting with water. I'm gonna pull a bunch of the paint off the brush. Okay, I just pulled a bunch of it off with my paper towel. Now I'm painting just with water, just with water. Going up to the little spot that I drew with my pencil. And then I'm pulling off, la 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 la. Cause you know, you want the value in there. Okay, so that 
that's kind of where we're 40 minutes into this one segment. This one mark session. Okay, what am I doing down here at the bottom? Okay, I'm gonna add another layer with turquoise. And I keep going for the purple, guys. I'm, I'm like purple crazy, but I'm doing I'm going back to the turquoise, heavy paint on my brush. Notice I'm using just one brush, which is I told myself I'm just going to use one brush because the kids only have one brush. I wanted to give you guys more brushes, but it's so hard with supply distribution. Okay, so I'm going to do a bunch all at once. So dark values, a lot of paint. Heavy paint, heavy paint, heavy paint. When you want it to be heavy, Sometimes I won't talk. I'm not talking right now. Why? Because I've got to get this done. And you may have your music up, but you should be paying attention. And I am not following my own pencil. Right? So always like be like, okay, am I sticking with the plan? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And like, you're gonna want white on the page with watercolor, right? So you're gonna wanna do like wash. Okay, filling in the rest of this O with just wet. Like I'm just doing a wash now. Okay, coloring in the O. Makes me think of the Obama campaign. Ugh, it's dried over here. Okay, I really want, so I'm blending. I'm going over the dots. Okay, I am a heavy paint on the end. And I'm going out of the lines. It's okay. I can clean that up with a marker. Okay. What is the top of the what is the top of these letters gonna be? Maybe these letters fade to purple, which fades to um, purple representing the unity of the country, which fades to 2021. I'm feeling like I dig that. So I'm going to do, I got red, purple, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to fade into purple for this second layer. So zigzag. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, I got a lot of paint on my brush right now. But I'm like looking, I'm like trying to mimic some of these cool lines that I found that I made up at the top, like some of these quick strokes. I'm gonna kind of try to mimic those. Maybe I can do that up here, like zigzag with the purple, right? Because I want similar movement. Okay, a lot of water, a lot of water. A lot of water. Okay, and then pull up. Pull up. Okay, a lot of water going to the end of what's supposed to be a backwards two. Some of my viewers might know, some of them might not. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay. I mean, you guys know if you're like sitting here listening to me, but. Will the audience know? That is the mystery. Bottom of the two. Does it look like a two at this point? You know, I'm not worried about that. I'm I'm like thinking about unity. But maybe I should. I don't know. You don't want to overthink it. You notice how I'm using the end of the brush to kind of carve out strong edges. Like I want there to be another color in here. I'm not sure what. 
Might be too confusing, maybe not, I don't know. That's why the color draft is so, you guys, I'm like not sure about what I'm doing at all times because I didn't have, I didn't do a color test. When in doubt, practice in your journal, but don't practice so long that you don't do your project at all. Okay, a lot of paint on my brush. So I'm painting mostly with water at the end. Okay, and top of the two. I'm not sure what's happening on the top of the two. I feel like I'm going to have like a line go like a splatter go so then I want to have sort of like a similar kind of zigzaggy pattern so you can like go back and forth between pencil and watercolor so then that would be purple so in order to create contrast I'm going to make this more of a wash right here so this is more of a light value pull up and then this will be the splash of some sort of complementary color, probably a yellow and then the zigzag. Okay, and that is the two. Maybe there's like something happening where that two is in the front. I don't know, like 2020 is trying to hurt yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, but it's bleeding. And then I got to do the purple on this layer. Our boundary right here. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what's happening there. I shouldn't have had that purple there. It's okay. I'm not going to trip. But mostly water right here. And you know, when you're putting two different colors next to each other, you need, you know, you got to hope that they're drying. Otherwise, they're going to kind of squish together. You better hope that they're dry. Okay, let's take a pause. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's see what's happening. Okay, I want to build in contrasting color, but I'm not going to do it right now because I want everything to dry. I want to add like a different color in there like a different, you know, a compliment, like maybe an orange or something on the other side of the color wheel. So I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna stop. Right, you don't wanna overwork it. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do some pencil work and clean it up, um, up at the top. So I'm gonna leave the middle and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna clarify some stuff around the edges. Um, you know, it's always good to stop and take a break. Um, when you're doing stuff. So let's pause. 